kind of excited. Love this game. <clears throat> Welcome to Chrono Cross, every people. Oh, I think a new game is what's appropriate here. My controller does that. Sounds great. We are going to be with this game for quite some time. So I hope you all are ready for it. If you are unfamiliar, this game is a sequel to Chrono Trigger. Which is in the running for the best Super Nintendo game ever. Depends on who you ask and what day of the week. I'm not going to do any talking over cutscenes whenever possible. If there are questions, I will do my best to answer them. Let's go over this real quick like. This is our menu. This is our status. That is Surge. See on the right hand side. That is Kid. That is Korcha. Who are these people? Hell if I know. He said, knowing everything about everybody. Uh, in the little boxes, you see current health and stats. You see a little innate thing and a color. That will be important later. You see a little grid thingy. Um, let's allocate. This over here on the left is the grid thingy. This is not important right now. It'll be important later. Equipment. Amazing. Items. items in this game don't work like items in other games. We'll get into that later. Uh, play it in stereo, dude. Window frame. Do we want a custom frame? I will be asking for a lot of input as this playthrough goes on. There are a couple of places where um, we may... <clears throat> excuse me. Um may have some branching paths to take, and I will want your input on that. Uh, also, real quick, bottom left-hand side, 20 stars out of 20. That doesn't matter right now. Time and money. Okay, everybody caught up? Good. Let's go. You'll be fine. Look at the room! Bet you didn't see that coming. It's a robot! I think we should go stand on that thing. I don't need hugs from a robot. Or a bat, thank you. The worst kind. <clears throat> this is battle. We're going to attack one of these flappy bats. But first, bottom of the screen. That's everybody and their health. The bar and the number at the bottom is stamina. You need stamina to do things. If I want to attack this bat, this has a very high percent chance to hit. It takes one stamina. This takes two stamina. It's a little lower. This takes three stamina. It's a lot lower. We can't do any elements because we haven't charged our grid. That's what the thing in the box that says level zero is. For every hit, you get a level of sta or grid charge equal to the amount of stamina you put into it. Amazing. 
So we hit three times. We hit one level one and one level two. One plus two, uh, three, I think. Pretty sure that's three. That gave us a three charge. Up there in the top left, you see a field effect. That's important later. We can use left and right button to switch people if we don't want to finish up someone's turn. But if we do want to finish a turn, we have now charged up to three. Ooh, that's uh, that's interesting. To see what's going on with that. Um, ignore it for now. So we can use any level from three or lower in our grid because we hit three times. We charged up to level three, so we can do a level three. We can do a two and a one. We can do a one and a two, or we can do three ones. Let's do. Let's talk about this real quick. That says X5. That means this is consumable. When you use it, it goes away. These do not say that, which means they are not consumable. When you use them, they do not go away. However, you can only use each of these once per battle. So don't think you can dash and slash your way to victory here. Let's go ahead and use a level three to show another point. Let's do dash and slash, because that sounds fun. Wasn't that fun? Oh no! Now Surge is out! He's got minus five, and his grid is now zero, because that took more stamina than what he had to use. So he's in negative stamina now. Up there in the top left, you see the field effect has changed. Instead of being a uh, black, red, and yellow, it is now red, yellow, and white, because Surge attacked with a white element, which has started to charge the field with white which means that the black isn't there anymore. It got pushed out by the white. If we have Kid here, who's got a fancy schmancy dagger, uh, use a white element. I don't know if she has any or not, but if she uses one, it will make the field even more white. And the more white it is, the better white things will work. She could also use a black thing, or a red thing, or a green thing, or any of these things. Or she can do nothing. Now we can let Korcha go and do some bat whacking with his fishing rod. Corch's weapon is a fishing rod. He just punched that guy. Just kick that guy. Hooray, we win. You do not gain levels in this game in a traditional RPG kind of way. You will just occasionally, as the game goes on, gain stats. So Kid got an extra one hit point. We also received 207 gold. Did we need healing? This is where we do the healing. You do not do the healing outside of battle. You do the healing after a battle. Remember how I said some of those things in the grid were consumable? Well, if you need to use consumables, you can do that. If you want to save your consumables, you use this one. Heals everybody without using consumables. But it's based on your grid charges. See, Surges is green because it's empty. Kids and Corches are yellow because it is full. We do not need healing, so it doesn't matter what we pick. Okay, everybody on board so far? Good. This is the longest this introductory scene has ever taken. It's the thing. Okay, the thing's gone, let's go. Yeah. Oh look, that thing's all uh, uh, hoop, hoopy. Hoopy, that's the word, it's the word. Bye robot, bye robot. Sucks to be you, robot. I'm going to stand on this thing and push a button. As soon as I start the stream, I get a phone call.
It was all a dream. The end. We win. Told you this was a great game. Square button brings up this. This is so useful, you have no idea. Look under the bed. Secret savings, man. 200 bucks. Um. There's another thing... See this? See this? You see this? This is how many characters are in the game. Like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four. Forty-four characters in this game. <clears throat> we can't get them all in one playthrough. It takes three. But we're gonna try and get most of them. This is where you guys come in. Get ready for some really damn good graphics. Minus the glitchy uh, fight stuff. And um, some really good music, too. I'm stuck on the cat. That's a that's a child. <clears throat> it's very creepy. Uh, before we go and have our date, is it? One of the things this game has is a lot of hidden frames that change the uh, text box. Hello! Yeah. I like that you just... Nope, bye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Give me a little. are dumb. Talk to this man. Hi, man. I think it's a fish. No, you're silly. radius. Nope. I learn by doing, sir. I have to discuss something with this giant pink monstrosity back here. One thing you will notice about this game, there are 44 characters, as we mentioned, and every one of them has has something. They've got an accent, they've got a speech thing, they've got a dialect, whatever it is. They all speak a certain way. Oshel kind of has a lisp. Well, 
We'll get more into that in a minute. Fuck this guy. Hi, guy. I know, I live here. Maybe you shouldn't be the town greeter, sir, if you can't, don't recognize the people who live here. I don't want to say anything, but... That's a horrible thing. He says, no one! She has jiggly arms, though. Fame to fame. Tell Grandma whatever the hell I want. I don't know who Grandma is. Know me. Sure, like to have me one of them Hecran bones. If only I knew where to find a Hecran bone. I found one. I found a hat too. I got a hat and a bone. I got three hundred dollars in my pocket. See the world. Equipment in this game comes in various levels of hardness. Ivory is the least hard of them. As the game progresses, we will uh, encounter harder things to put on our heads. If you listen close, you'll hear finger noise in the music. When I say finger noise, we're a big guitar here. You hear it like this? Well, there is not a real guitar playing in this music, it's a MIDI instrument. But there's also a MIDI sound effect for finger noise, fret noise on guitars, and they added it. Didn't have to, but they did. Hey, would you like a Hecran bone? You pink monstrosity. Pretty Miracle Power X. Like I said, pink monstrosity. Look, we made a friend. Made a friend out of this pink monstrosity. Speaking of pink monstrosity, this is our new friend. The Wonder Dog. Hoshel is a she. 
Weigh height three foot eight, weighs twenty six pounds, has a roly poly build, and for all we know, is ambidextrous. Has two tails, because why not? We click on over here, we can look at Surge. He's a silent protagonist. We have uh, no elements to put into Poshel's grid. We have tablets, pure, and nothing to put in our grid. Uh, looking at stats over there on the right, Poshel has more health than Surge. Poshel has more strength than Surge. Poshel has more defense than Surge. But Poshel's accuracy, agility, magic, and magic resistance are not as good. So. Poshul's job is to punch things and get punched by things, and not to think about it too hard. We good with that? Good. Better be. Um, next stop is this house. And then we'll go have our date, I promise. This is important for later. It's a weird chicken thing you got there. I'm I'm comfortable with the fact that I will never see any of those ever again. God. No, don't go down there. I need to go down there. down in the basement with that weird chicken thing. Hi. And if I need to slow down progressing through the text boxes, let me know. Shark tooth is a special thing. And if we come here and we go to items, we can look at it. Okay, now we're done. Let's go see what's her face. Oh, this is a Kiki. He's out on the beach. My bad. I don't usually talk to anybody in town. Break her in a little. It's weird. I played this enough that I don't usually talk to people. That that's Lena up there. This is a cat. bed right there. Hoshal has a bed. Okie doke. Now let's get a move on. 
It's time for docking. Talking time over. Time to play the game. This lady is the shop here in town. You would like to buy elements or weapons slash armor. Except there's no weapons, really. There's a kind of, sort of weapons, but not really, because everybody comes with one. And you don't buy them, you make them. So up there in the top right, if you want to make anything out of ivory, it requires a bone. And then either fangs or leathers, and there's a fee attached to it. Similar thing. Accessories, similar thing. But if you have extra, you can take them apart, or you can just sell them. Elements. This one's consumable because it's got that one X on it. Here restores HP a little bit. Fireball does fire damage. Aqua Beam does water damage. This heals the flu and any blue element status effects. Heals poison and any green element status effects. I don't care about these. Never have. Never will. We have one cure, but I kind of want another one. One fireball is a good idea, going forward. I don't usually buy elements. But I will do it now, just for sake of uh, explanation. So, down at the bottom, you see it says level 1, plus minus 7, single foe. That means this is a level 1 element, so it will live on the level 1 part of your grid. You can put it on other levels and it's going to get a plus number that means it's that plus two basically it's it's not you can use it more than once it's just that little bit stronger we will put here there now if you have one that's a level two you can put it on level one and it will be minus one it'll be a little weaker some of them cannot be placed below or above certain levels that will come into play later are you excited to hear all the things that will come into play later? You should be. This is the world map. Look at it. Look at it. There's mountains. There's houses. There's a little waterfall up there. Oh, we can go into this little waterfall. Do we need to be here? Absolutely not. There is zero reason to be here. We're going to do it anyway. You can't stop me. I've gone mad with power. Look, it's full of faces. It's not uncomfortable at all. Okay. 
here? No. Nothing over here. It looks like there is. Just a little bit of water. <clears throat> Well, whatever this is, we will never, ever be back here ever again, ever in a million billion years. You can be sure about that. Do we want to do this now? Or do we need to do it later? I don't remember. Let's go try now. I don't think we can do this quite yet. Nope. Okay, I guess it's I guess it's it later. Some of these things you start like ridiculously early. Um and you can't finish them till ridiculously late. And that's one of them. But I guess we're just a little early. This is Lizard Rock. Look, there's the rock. And there goes the rock. And now we just call it Lizard. Boo! I scared him. All right. Battle. Notice the field effect up there at the top left is different than it was last time. Because in this space, this area, uh, blue, green, and yellow are the more common elements, I suppose. Good way to say it. And defend. Oh no, he's weak. You can tell by the way he's, you know, leaning on his massive hands. Good job, dog. You punched a fish man to death. I hope you're proud of yourself. things that has kept me from streaming games like this has been the amount of battles we're going to run into. Normally it would be something I would fast forward to get through um, if I was doing an off-screen recording. You can't really do that here, and it doesn't work as well with this game as it does other games. Anyway, uh, we found a humor, a fang, and one consumable and a little bit of money. And the fireball element. Oh, that's great. I will take it instead of those tablets, because I don't care about those. Those are for suckers. <coughs> those weird chicken things. If let's give this a push. If this were Final Fantasy VII, that would be magic materia. Thankfully, this is not Final Fantasy VII. This is a better game. I don't care who knows it. Oh, I'm going to fight this guy, too. I'm going to fight as often as I can. Because, like I said, we don't level up, per se. We just get stat boosts after every couple of battles. With a couple of exceptions... So I want to fight often, because that's how your stats get better.
The enemies here are blue. At least these guys are blue. Uh, blue is opposite of red. Everybody knows that. So if you hit him with blue, it's going to do more damage than if you hit him with green or yellow. Duh. If everybody in your team defends, everybody gets all their stamina back. Now, this does not count as defending. So you can't just switch. You actually have to do the defend thing. Any questions so far? chicken thing went and he ain't there anymore. What are you doing down there, fish man? Can I go down there too? Oh no, fish man. He's assaulted by a fish man. Um, enemies can use special abilities too. You don't run into that too much this early in the game, but it is a thing that can and will happen. So that's why we fight. I just moved that rock, and it that chicken thing moved it back. That ain't cool. Way to go, chicken thing. <laughs> I'm gonna continue referring to you as something I know you're not. That'll teach you. on allergies, but nothing's alive yet. Node last night. We've got a wind advisory, like, right now. Let's go this way. This looks like a fun way to go. See you, chicken demon. Got a filter on here. I don't know which one it is. I will fiddle with it during break time. But it it makes the game run just like a half second slow. It's a Komodo pup. A and B. Let's kill them. That's what we're here for. I should mention Poshal is optional. You do not have to recruit Poshal, but if you don't do it uh, right off the bat, you have one other opportunity to, and if you don't, I don't think Poshal will come with you at all, which means Surge has to do this by himself. Which is not difficult to do. Um, it just makes it take a little longer. And we are, you know, we're only doing two hours a week. A bit of a time crunch here. Aw, oh, critical hits are nice. Yeah. 
there may be coming a time in the not too distant future, uh, next Sunday AD, that we can stream a little more often. Maybe twice a week. I don't know. Oh no, he's gonna use an ability. I oh, threw up on me. It's gross. He's gonna do it too. Oh no. Now, if you look at the field effect thing up there in the top left hand, it is now yellow, blue, blue. If we were to do something stupid, like use this blue, we will turn the field blue, which will make anything that is blue element uh, stronger, more effective. That means both us and them. Oh, see, now you see star zero zero. That's important for later. Any element will make that go away. Just go ahead and use fire. Probably shouldn't have, but it'll be fine. Uh, that turning the field one color will be important later. See, I would have healed Poshal first, but since Surge is on top of the list, Surge got healed first. Which is why I shouldn't have used Fireball. It's fine. I don't know what that rock is made of, but it sank very slowly. Silver Loop! Loop! What does that do? We should equip it. it. Improves hit percentage by two. Well, since your hit percentage is garbage, I'll only improve yours by one. A small boost is a small boost. It's better than the alternative. I see a box. Gimme. Gimme. Now we have enough charges in our grid to heal everybody. We do things. <laughs> we were just a little stronger. We could probably kill that beach bum in one go. I'm a little sad for the beach bums because they're clearly modeled after um, a, an incredibly important creature in Chrono Trigger, but here they're just relegated to like... Wow. Here they're relegated to like the second weakest enemy in the game. I feel bad for them. There 
There we go. Big ol' stat boost. Health, defense, and magic. And Postle got health, strength, and defense. What was special about that fight? Nothing. Nothing really special about it. There's a treasure chest in the middle section there. We will be back for it in a moment. Try and chase this guy from this side. What's he gonna do? Gonna run right in there and get trapped. The dope. Now, it's video game rules apply here. Obviously, this is a video game. That's why we've bought four of these and only have two scales. It would make sense that we should be able to get three scales off of one of them. But, like I said, video game rules. Don't you feel bad? Oh my goodness. It says Mama. We were warned that Mama might show up, if you recall. Mama would be scary, but... We have Poshal, the Wonder Dog. Aqua Beam is one we can do. I'm gonna take a moment to heal, because that hurt. That hurt bad. Fireball you now that you're weak. appreciate it if you would just die so we can get this over with. Got places to go and not a lot of time to go to them. There. We did it. We killed everybody. Fighting a boss and beating it gets us a star! Stars are level ups. Stars are what unlocks big stat boosts and unlocks extra things in your element grid. Which also means for the next little while, as we fight battles, we will get extra little bits of uh, stat boosts. Ah, shoo shoo. It's true, we really do. If we go to items. Not in those items though. Not there. Where are they? Maybe we don't have them. Maybe it was all a trick. That's what I'm thinking. It's one of those, again, video game rules. You have it, but you don't have it. Ooh, boxes. We better get both of those boxes before we leave. Look, magic. Magic appearing bad guy. I 
socials. You shouldn't be missing this much. I gave you the silver loop. Supposed to make you not miss so much. What are you doing? You get spit on by a lizard. You're not my friend. Friends don't let friends get spit on by lizards. God. Hit the damn thing. Papers. Extra little, little bits of stats. We do have those extra spaces on our element grid now. I'm not gonna bother to fill them at the moment. Because reasons, that's why. We found another hat. Oh boy. You know what would be great? Ah, uh, won't let us wear two hats. That's less great. Nothing but hats. Like six hats on his head. It is nearly break time, but before we go to the break time, we're gonna do this. Because it's important.
from time to time, take a moment and just read Poshel's lines out loud. I promise you'll enjoy it. I think it's break time. Let's take a break. And then we'll be back. Ba 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 